Artist Manager Profile by Thomas Cox. Um, I chose the manager, Paul Rosenberg, who is most famous for um, basically being with Eminem from the beginning of his career. Um, so some background on Paul, um, Paul Rosenberg. He is from Detroit, Michigan, and is 48 years of age. He's an American artist manager, uh, mainly in the hip-hop genre. Um, he's the president of Shady Records, and he is a CEO, um, now is the CEO of Def Jam Records, and also the CEO of Goliath Artists, Inc. Um, so he became president of Shady Records, uh, Records which represents a number of popular hip-hop artists, um, artists' albums, such as Eminem, Royce to 59, D12, and Yellow Wolf. Um, he's also the CEO of Goliath Artists, Inc., which is the powerhouse New York-based uh, management firm that handles artists like Eminem, Action Bronson, and Danny Brown. And here's a picture of Paul Rosenberg. Um, next, um, some other work that he did other than just managing artists. Um, he has been... Um, he has worked on movies slash films producing. He helped produce 8 Mile, which is Eminem's autobiography film, and also helped on 50 Cent's life movie, Get Rich or Die Trying. Because of this, he started Shady Films with Eminem, which is original creation content group. Rosenberg also devotes his time in developing RapRadar.com, uh, where people can go for latest news, music, and videos related to hip-hop culture. Um, so Paul's entrance into music, um, at first he had inspirations to be a rapper, um, that obviously fell through and he chose the business side. Um, he met Eminem in a hip hop shop and saw him perform at a small venue and um, started to build a relationship on that. Basically the way Paul pretty much got into the music scene is because he met um, Eminem and he knew he wanted to be in the music um, business and he just became friends with Eminem in Detroit. Eminem started off very poor and unpopular, but with Paul's business mentality, he grew to be a ginormous star and rap icon to this day. Some artists um, that he has worked with, Eminem, Action Bronson, 3-6 Mafia, Yellow Wolf, and Blink-182, just to name a few. In 2010, Yellow Wolf appeared on Bizarre's album, Friday Night at St. Andrews, which was an early sign of him joining sides with Shady Records and Paul. Next, in 2012, Paul became interested in Action Bronson because of his digital album, Dr. Lecter. Paul got Action to sign to Vice Records um, to start making albums more frequently. Later on, Action switched and signed with Paul's management firm, Goliath. Paul landed a big deal and acquired 3-6 Mafia to his Goliath management firm also. Um, so management styles for Rosenberg. Paul is sort of an unconventional manager. He uses his very savvy ears and creative minds to jump out and grab, grab an artist that he likes and sees potential in. With Eminem, Paul went through a lot with um, him varying from addiction, violence, and crazy lyrics. Paul, being the great manager he is, saw something with him and stuck with him, not only as his manager, but as a friend, even though it was very hard. Looking back on it, I'm sure Paul is grateful for doing that, figuring Eminem is the single highest selling hip-hop artist to this day. Also, um, this shows great decision making from him, and he puts all of his artists in great positions with his great business mind. Paul having so many connections in the industry also is a huge positive for his artists. Um, so some other lessons that I learned from him is just his loyalty, um, how he sticks with his artists, um, and creativ uh, his creativity um, mind also shows through in a lot of his work. Paul has been in the industry for so long and has so many outlets to send his artists in the right direction. All of his firms slash businesses he has also is not only great for himself, but also for his artists he represents. Also just being half as creative than Paul would be awesome. The films he, may, he helped with proves and solidifies his creative mind. One way I would take what Paul has done would be his emphasis on hip hop culture slash music videos. With Paul having RapWriter.com, that shows how important it is for artists to take um, serious what you put out to the world. 
So my artist was Braxton, um, and I definitely think he could use um, some of Paul's ideas on this, and especially with all of Rap Radar, um, just having a better online presence um, really could help Braxton in the long run because you don't see much um, social media work with Braxton, and I think that would help out his music career a lot. There's also a lot of things that interest me in Paul. He has done so much in the music industry that it surprises me. He first started off by going to college for a medical degree. He decided that was not in his area of strengths and switched to get a law degree at the University of Michigan. I also believe this helped him in such a huge way through the music industry. Understanding the law and everything that comes with that has to make it easier for him and attracts his artists because they can really trust him and really know that he understands the whole background of the music industry and all the legal matters that are with that. Another interesting piece of info that I find amazing is how many business ventures he has slash had. Managing huge artists, um, his management firm, Shady Films, Shady Records, and RapRadar.com. One thing I want to touch on more is how he became the CEO of Def Jam Records. Def Jam is one of the biggest, most popular record label in the U.S. Paul only took over at the beginning of 2018 and still stands as the CEO. Def Jam has a very successful artist lineup from Big Sean, Kanye West, Logic, Pusha T, and Tiana Taylor. At the beginning of his work career, he wanted to just get a job at a record label or as an attorney. While interning at a small record label, he thought to himself how much better he was um, at understanding music and knowing what is good music um, compared to the label that he worked at. He then decided to venture off to look for artists slash producers to manage in the neck and the rest is history. And here's my list of references I used.